Knee pain is something that can affect people at any age, but there's good news. Minor knee pain can often be helped by self-care and knee strengthening moves. So we knew we were doing this segment today. I told T to grab her work workout clothes. Come on in here and join me because you have had some knee pain. Uh, what, like, what's the issue, do you think? I am super flat-footed. I have no business in high heels. And whenever I put on high heels, yeah. this happens. So now you make me feel bad. Cause look at what I make you feel bad when you wear flats. Yes, you do. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm happy Zara's here with us right now. Zara's with us because she's going to have exercises for us and they're not going to hurt. Am I right, Zara? Yes, for sure. So like you said, with Tracy and anyone else, knee pain can happen to anybody. It's not about age. It can be from an injury. It can be from overuse. It can be from an imbalance in the muscles around your knee. So hopefully we will strengthen those muscles around your knee. So when you do the exercises like lunges and squats or, you know, if you're walking for a long time or walking in heels, hopefully that knee is strong enough and the muscles supporting it are strong enough that you should be fine. Okay, so we're going to like work everything around it. What is our first exercise there? All right, so all of these are pain free and it's not putting too much weight on the knee. Like I said, it's working the muscles around the knee, like the quads, the hamstrings, the adductors and abductors. So the first thing, if you have good balance, if not, you can hold on to a wall. We're going to lift up the leg. It's a hip flexion exercise. So here and we're working on contracting the quads, just kicking the leg out and back in. <laughs> <laughs> out and back in. So you really want to You can think. hang on to me if you need to, T. <laughs> yeah. Are you guys right. holding on to each other there? There we go. We kind of need a wall. Out yeah. and back in. Okay. So what you're doing is you are just isolating the quad muscles. So as like. you extend out, that muscle is getting stronger. The reason I like to do it standing, you could do it sitting, is it forces you to work on your balance a little bit. So you're working the ankle balance on the other side and you're just kicking out and back in. Again, go as far as your knee feels comfortable. Okay, you still good? Yeah. It's all good. Okay, what's your next exercise? <laughs> all right, now we're moving to the ground. So what we're doing oh. now is we are isolating the leg muscle, the quad. So you can use something like a foam roller, a rolled up towel, even a water bottle. And what you're gonna do is you are gonna sit nice and comfortably. You're gonna put whatever you have right under your knee. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna press down and that leg will come up. And you're just thinking of that mind-body connection. So you're taking, you're trying to contract the quads, lifting and back down, okay. lifting and back down. So again, not pressure on the knee, but strengthening the muscles above the knee. The best thing about this exercise is that you didn't see a shot of me and T going down. <laughs> So much right now. Okay, so right now, um, Sarah, what are we doing? Are we? Is this our quads that we're working out? Like, what's I happening? I feel it. Right. It's our quads. Yeah. It's just firing the quads. It's taking pressure off the knee, and because you have something under the knee, you're protecting it. So you're just yeah. extending up. It already lifts the leg up a little bit and back down, so you can really fire off that quad. I love it. Okay, what do we have next? All right, next one is we're just doing, this one's gonna feel like nothing. You're literally just pushing down and back up. So you won't see my leg moving at all. You're pushing that, whatever you have under the knee, you're pushing it under towards the ground and you're gonna feel the quad yep. tighten. Yeah. So just feel press it. down yeah, and back up. It. Again, it's not gonna feel like much. Yeah. You feel it, good. So it's just strengthening all those little muscles around the knee, pressing down and back up. Okay, Zare, what have you got for us next? What's the next exercise? All right, so next is the bridge. You are gonna lie back. This is working the glutes and the hamstrings. Press through your heels, lift your hips up and back down. Squeeze up and down. So all of these exercises you can do for three sets of 10. See how you feel. And because it's strengthening the knee and it's not putting too much strain on the knee, you can do it every day. And I promise you, you'll notice the difference. I love it. And you know what? If you're at home doing this in your living room, it'll be so much less awkward than doing it under studio lights. <laughs> I promise you. Sarah, thank you. You guys so look great. Much. <laughs> thank you so much. Great knee strengthening exercises. We are going to break. Stay with us. Keep going, T. Oh, God. Yeah, let's just keep doing it. Three, two. Glutes are angry. One. <laughs>